And new this morning, we're just days away from the 38th annual wearing of the Green Parade. And today we're getting a sneak peek at the floats that will be rolling come Saturday. Yeah, you know, themes ranging from lucky leprechauns to crazy crawfish. There's plenty to see and celebrate. And tune in's Taylor O'Rubach is live from the St. Patrick's Den in Plaquemine, getting a first look at all these magical green machines. Taylor, good morning. We didn't know you were Irish. <laughs> Good morning, or should I say, top of the morning to you. Yeah, yes, I think we all have a little bit of Irish in us, if I must say, say so myself. But I'm live here in Plaquemine, where the crew of Camogo has their very own Camogo floats that will be riding in the wearing of the Green Parade this Saturday, and they are fantastic looking. So as you can see, we have our lucky leprechauns, but this is Oshner's float, so very, very cute. Nice little leprechaun, very big, so it takes a lot of work for these guys to put these floats together, and that's one of the amazing things that Camogo does every season. Single year is hand paid all these floats and even put their props together. So now we have the crew de frogs. They got a cute four leaf clover up there, feeling very, very lucky. So you'll see one of these out there as well. Lucky number 17. Look at that. And then the big one that we all love so much is the Grand Marshal float. Of course, that's Timothy Mockler with Mockler Beverage Company. And as you can see, it's got Budweiser and Bud Light to really bring in that real true, what is it? I, would you call it Irish? I think so. So the Mocklers are very, very Irish. So this looks incredible. We were talking earlier. It takes a lot of hard work to put these together. Earl has been with us all morning long talking about it. Y'all do a great job. And you were saying, it sounds like it's nothing for y'all. <laughs> well, it, it's a lot for us. But we do it, we do it so often, it's getting to where it's uh, pretty easy. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a lot of process. And uh, I like to talk about the people who put the parade on. Yeah. It's a lot of work for them. And... Um, Starting with the parade group and the Shingleton family, mm -hmm. uh, the, the Baton Rouge Police Department do an excellent job keeping it safe and traffic control. And the people you don't even think about, the DPW, they got to go out there, they trim trees, right. they got to clean up all this trash, they put barricades out, they got to pick them all up, and they got a lot of stuff to do. I mean, the cleanup mm -hmm. is, I mean, last year I think they picked up 40 tons of trash. Right. So if, uh, if I can encourage the people out there going to the parade, I would like to. You know, encourage them to try to bag their own trash. Even if you leave the bags on the side of the road, right. try to bag some trash up and, and help these guys out because they do a, a lot of work. Yeah, it's a really big teamwork, so it's not all the pretty lights and the big floats you see. There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes as well. But it's still going to be a whole lot of fun, so you're not going to want to miss it. That parade rolls at 10 a.m. on Saturday in Baton Rouge starting at Acadian, and I'm going to be there broadcasting live. The broadcast starts at 9.30 on WBRZ. I'll be with Fallon Brown as well, so you're not going to want to miss it. Don't let the cold scare you away. Just take one of these big boys with you, and maybe it'll help warm you up. But I'm going to throw it back to you all for now reporting in Plaquemine. Taylor Rubach, WBRZ News 2. Thanks, Taylor. And you heard the man there. We got company coming, folks. You got to clean up. Yeah. Can you imagine trying to drink one of those beers that, that big? Yeah. That's no. a lot of beer. That's a lot of beer. I think the JP. whole newsroom could get that one of those. Yeah. Well, we're all looking forward to it. As Taylor said, she'll be broadcasting live with Fallon Brown. There'll be your eyes in the skies if you want to watch the parade from home. But we want to encourage everybody to come on out to the parade route, catch some good throws, and have a good time.